everyone. So I thought I'd vlog this weekend for the first time ever. Um, I've got a commercial shoot today. So I thought I'd show you how I get ready for that, check on my camera gear. I thought I'd just vlog really what I get up to this weekend because it's quite a busy one. Normally they're pretty relaxed. Um, and I thought this one might be quite interesting. So um, I'm just going to show you get me getting ready. Um, like I say, check I've got all my photography gear, bits and bobs, and what it's like to be a photographer, and what I get up to, and stuff like that. So, yeah, have a good weekend, everyone, and um, whatever you're up to. Um, and I hope you're having a good day when you see this. Um, and as usual, my trusty little assistant, Indy, will be here to help. Hi guys, so I'm going to take you through what I do when I'm checking that I've got all my kit I need. Um, so normally it consists of swapping my cameras between these two bags. Because uh, I use this one or obviously just out on my own, uh, doing landscapes, photography, anywhere that I might just need a camera. But when I'm actually doing a shoot with uh, on a wedding or commercial shoot I take this bag because I have all my kit in uh, this I tend to just condense down and um, so the last time I used this was out so I need to move a lot of this into here and um, but first of all I will just check that I've got two camera bodies um, which I've got here um, and make sure that I've got my tripod adapter on that one. Um, I tend to always keep the tripod adapter on this one with my um, 35 meal on. So I tend to use this um, at weddings just on the tripod using my remote um, just set up so it can get a different angle. Um, and then I make sure I've got camera straps. Uh, because at the moment on both of these I have a double strap so that I can have both of them on my body at one time primarily when I'm doing weddings and um, so I've got those adapters on at the moment uh, but sometimes when I'm out shooting just for myself um, I like to put the proper camera strap on because if they're around your neck they can be a bit awkward uh, so in here I then make sure I've got their batteries uh, I think most of the other stuff is already in the other bag. But like I say, this is just my condensed down version. Uh, we've got lots of different pockets, so you just need to check all the different pockets. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing in there. So then what I also do is go for pockets on this bag. Um, so I make sure I've got my charger for the batteries. That's me double camera double camera strap. That comes with me everywhere. Then I make sure I've got my speed gun. Speed gun even. Uh, then I make sure I've got my Sigma 20mm lens as well, just in case I want to do um, some more wide angle shots. And then I make sure I've got my basic lens cleaning kit in there. Uh, and I have that there so it's nice and easy to get hold of and I don't have to look around for it everywhere. So then in here I make sure I've got the memory card. Uh, I put my spare battery in here, I put my other spare batteries for my speed guns in here, I have some tissues, just because you never know when you might get a runny nose, if you're out like me with allergies, suddenly you can get a runny nose, so I've also got, always got some Kleenex balsam tissues in there, 
Uh, I've got my remote. I've got another one downstairs which I need to go and grab. And then I normally have a selection of headache pills, diarrhea pills, you know, just those sorts of things which you can be caught unaware. So I say I've got a selection of those there. Um, I've then also got my little LED light as well, which is great if you're in a confined space. Um, to use to backlight something, something like that. So I make sure that's all in there. I need to put that on charge actually. Uh, then in here, you might think it's a bit silly, but I always have the manual for my cameras because you never know when you might need to do a bit of troubleshooting. Um, I've got the backs of my lens caps in here as well. I've got a clipboard for when I'm on wedding because uh, I'll have a list of uh, shots that I need to pick off and make sure I get. Hello, Indy Cat. So that lives in there and just any other essential paperwork I need. And then in the bottom pocket here, I then check I've got pen and pencil. Yes. Uh, business card. Uh, I tend to have loads more batteries. <laughs> I think I probably have enough batteries there. Uh, I don't need kisses, thank you. Put those all back in there. Losing, the oh, disappearing underneath me. Um, then I have a USB cable that connects to the camera in case I need to pull any first impression sort of shorts off, short shots off back of camera uh, to show clients and things if they want to see it on a bigger screen. And then in here, hallway, I have my big blow up on my lens, my lens clean cloth and then my dust brush. Uh, so I need those out, so I need to get my lenses a bit of a clean. And that's everything that lives in here. Um, so then what I'll do is just pull the caps off my lenses and give them a good brush round just to get any obvious bits of dust off. And then yeah, I'll hold the lens towards the light just so I can check there is nothing on the lens. But all of my lenses have uh, skylight UV belt filters on to also help stop any dirt or anything actually getting on the lens glass um, and also protect my lenses because you never know what sort of light you might be shooting in. So I'll Use the white to show up any imperfections or stuff. Yep, sorted. I do tend to clean them after I have used them, but I always like to double check before I go out. Because you never know what sort of dust or whatever might have settled before when you've been using them last. Obviously, if I had a bit of dirt on there that I wanted to get off, I'd use a lint free cloth and a bit of cleaning solution to just work that off. So that's all sorted. And they, these travel everywhere with me, so I've always got those in this bag. Right. So my strap lives in there. And then I actually use an IKEA bag. One of these are the big blue bar IKEA bags you can get. Um, stick my charge in there uh, to carry all my other bits and bobs like tripods, props. Uh, I can't remember what else I have in there. Let's have a look. I can get this cable in here. Is that all done? All set up. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, and 
and what I love about this part, especially when you're doing weddings, it's just like a suitcase. So it's nice and easy to manoeuvre. So, that's that. And then in here, like I say, I've got tripod. And I've got some props that I used for my bride and groom. I've got my product photography pop-up studio. Uh, but for today, I'll probably just take the smaller bag and just take out the bits I don't need. And uh, so there, I've got more props to use with my bride and groom, just to add a bit of interest to the photo. I have a waterproof set, because uh, again, when you're doing weddings or shoots outside, you never know what the weather's like. And this is really convenient. It just folds flat and doesn't take that much space. And uh, then in here, I've got some jojo. Uh, you know, again, you never know what the weather's going to be like on a shoe, so you have to be prepared. You can get a bit hot and stinky um, if you're out in the sun all day. Um, I've got a very simple tripod in there. I've got some lens pins here. I've got some blue tack. Normally, I have some safety pins, sticky pads, all sorts of different bits and bobs in there that I need to replenish. And um, in here I've got my pop out reflector, that was the word I wanted. So I'll be taking that with me today. I've got my little gorilla tripod because I'm going to be vlogging the shoot, so that might come in handy. Uh, like I say, I've got my tripod as well. I don't really need my waterproof today, I'll need those tomorrow. I need to charge that. And that is it. I've got more tripods downstairs by the front door that I need to collect on my way out. But other than that, I'm all sorted, ready to go. So you will be coming along to do my shoot today. So I'm doing all oh, um, a commercial shoot today uh, with the lovely Heather, who offers holistic therapies to her customers. I'm going to go be taking some pictures of her holistic therapy room, getting some of her doing the holistic therapies with some models, um, and I think maybe some headshots as well. So that'll be really interesting and great to see those when they're up on our website and stuff. Uh -huh.